In this video, I'm going to review the most popular hair loss treatments for men and women. Treatments that you can use to slow down your hair loss before a hair transplant and to improve your hair growth after a hair transplant. Some of you regular watchers of this channel might not know, but I'm actually a qualified pharmacist. That's my day job, hence the kind of nifty white lab coat. So this kind of video is really right up my street. And yes, I can confirm this is going to be the best video you've seen on hair loss treatments ever on YouTube. Let's go. watching my hair implants the best youtube channel on all things hair transplant my name is Jabro. what do you mean you still haven't subscribed quick question for you before we begin are you using any hair loss medication any of the ones i'm about to list tell me in the comments below yes or a no let's kick things off with probably the most famous hair loss medication currently on the market so let's kick things off with the daddy of them all minoxidil how does it work for hair loss unbelievably after all these years nobody really understands for sure we know how it works for other conditions but for hair loss it's still a bit of a mystery uh, the brands it comes under are the two most common ones are uh, Rogaine and Regain we'll have a look at them in a minute uh, this package in here is the Regain version I believe the Regain is marketed uh, you know for the rest of the world and the Rogaine is, is strictly for North America I have no idea why the company have decided to, you know decided to do that uh, it comes in solution or foam um, no difference in effectiveness it's just that the foam is easier to apply the solution can, you know can sometimes cause itchiness and uh, such things it comes in two strengths two percent and five percent those are the official strengths but you can get up to 12 percent if you go to specialist clinic to make it um, customized for you but having worked in a hair loss clinic and uh, where we've been making this in the lab itself I believe if you go, if you try and go over 15% strength, it's the, the thing is just not going to dissolve. It just turns into crystals. So if anybody offers you, you know, 20% or 30% strength, run a mile, you know, they're telling porkies. 2%, the 2% strength is for women, strictly women, and um, the 5% is for men. And obviously the women can't use the 5%. And um, I was checking the company literature. They say if, if uh, within one year you have not gotten results, then it's time to stop. So that's a good um, good milestone to aim for. Common side effects, itchy scalp is by far the most common. And uh, from what I can see in the data, the maximum results come about the 16 week mark. So that's a good time to go and check if you are having any sort of results. Let's have a look at some of the packaging for Rogaine or Regain. So this is the Regain brand that you find in the rest of the world, probably not in North America. This is the three month pack of the foam. 5% strength this is obviously the one for men the packages vary and um, this one is the this you know same as last one except that this is the liquid the monoxidil sorry the solution so this is uh, this is the foam this is the solution and both are um, this one is three month pack and this one is one month pack so you kind of have to be very careful about what you're buying so that you know exactly which type you are buying but they you know in terms of effectiveness there's not really much difference and uh, the women's one um, comes in a pink um, slightly cheesy they made the women's version in a pink uh, pack um, this is the two percent uh, three month pack so by the way i offer a paid hair transplant consultation service if you are thinking of a hair transplant or if you've already had a hair transplant and you're thinking of what to do next let's jump on my website myhairimplants.com and the consultation service page is there on the main menu on the home page you can get all the information you need on there now let's move on to the second most popular uh, drug for hair loss, finasteride. So this blocks a key enzyme called 5-alpha um, reductase. This is the enzyme that kind of um, converts the te testosterone into another hormone that kind of um, attacks hair follicles. Uh, the main brands, Proscar and Propecia, we'll have a look at them in a minute. It comes as 1 milligram and 5 milligrams. Men who are trying to preserve their hair should only use the 1 milligram strength not the five milligrams this is really really in, uh, important because the one milligram is the one that is licensed for hair loss and obviously it's men only so women should not be touching this one milligram once a day strictly dose and i know some people i've seen on facebook and other, you know kind of other places saying that yeah if you take the five milligrams you'll get better results complete and utter rubbish only use the one milligrams no exceptions at all you need to be patient you need to give it three to six months to see results so don't you're not going to take this and um, you know tonight and then wake up the next morning looking like a gorilla 
Decreased libido, depression and erectile dysfunction are the most common side effects. They are officially called uncommon side effects in terms of how frequently they happen. So they happen between 1 in 100 cases to 1 in 1000. So let's have a look at the different types of uh, finasteride available. This is the 1 milligram um, formulation. This is the one that is licensed for hair loss. This is another finasteride 1 milligrams, but this time it comes under the brand name of Propecia, exactly like the last one, but the brand name is different. Notice on the box it says warning for use by men only, just like I showed you in the presentation. And this is finasteride 5 milligrams, uh, comes under the brand Proscar. Uh, it looks, you know, quite different, but to be honest, it's the same as the, you know, the five milligrams from other brands. So you just have to go by the brand name will be different, but you just have to look at the strength of the finasteride. Ask yourself, is it five milligrams or is it one milligrams? Don't worry too much about the brands. Um, as long as you stick to reputable brands like Proscar, you should be fine. Something to know about finasteride. I know some people what they do is because they're trying to save costs. They buy the five milligrams and they try to split it with their tablet cutters into five ways to make you know one milligram pills i mean that can be done but honestly it's a complete nightmare sometimes you're not really cutting it properly evenly and you're getting uh, random doses the tablet sometimes crumbles and just goes everywhere and you have to start again complete nightmare if you agree with your healthcare provider that this is the tablet for you just go with the one milligrams you make your life so much easier so before we dive in into the next drug, I need to clear up something about side effects. I really hate it when people ask, oh, uh, does this drug cause side effects? All drugs, any drug that's ever been made by man has side effects. Some of those side effects are common, some are uncommon, some are rare, some are very rare, and some we have no idea how frequently they happen. Some people will take a drug and never have any side effects. Some people will take a drug and have dozens of side effects. No one can predict this what you should be doing along with your healthcare provider is going through the list of side effects and seeing which ones are the most common which ones have been reported to be common which ones are less common which ones are rare which ones are very rare and then weigh up the benefits of actually taking this drug versus the risk of side effects anyway rant over let's go to the next slide let's move on to dutastride uh, the brand name is called Avazards. Um, it looks like this now this is not licensed for hair loss so people do use it but only through specialists or they are you know some crazy people that just randomly go online and buy it that's a recipe for disaster i would not recommend you do that for any drug let alone this one as we'll see in a minute do not touch it women so <laughs> don't touch it ladies so this is absolutely strictly not for women it can cause some extremely serious side effects if, if women take it and uh, this is actually licensed for something called BPH. Um, it's a long medical name called the benign prostatic hyperplasia. Uh, this is kind of basically enlarged the prostate that some men get in older age. It has a very serious side effects and uh, the side effects are quite frequent as you will see in a minute. And uh, it works in a similar way to finasteride but it's a lot more kind of a dirtier drug than finasteride. Its side effects are more potent and more frequent and talking of side effects the, the most common side effects include impotence ejaculation problems vertigo and heart problems and some of these happen as frequently as six percent so before we were kind of uh, worrying about things that happen one in 100 um, cases or one in 1000 some of these some of these ones with the tustride with avazart they happen as frequently as six percent so a very serious drug. I but let me be quite blunt about the touch ride. I do not recommend it. It's just not worth the side effects. It's got serious side effects that happen fairly frequently. Sometimes you got away the benefits of having a full head of hair and the benefits of actually being healthy. Now let's move on to a really interesting treatment um, for hair loss called Saw Palmetto. It's not licensed for hair loss. Uh, possibly it might have some benefits for BPH, benign, uh, benign prostatic hyperplasia, but we'll, uh, that's a subject for another video. But the research on it, even though it's not licensed for hair loss, the research on it is very promising even though it's limited. And uh, for people who like to keep things natural, this is plant-based, so it's not, you know, it's not a synthetic drug. And we think it works in a very similar way to finasteride by blocking a key enzyme and in terms of getting it you can get it um, I think you can get it in health food shops uh, possibly as dried berries or tablet extracts 
uh, I would not buy it um, in some places they sell it as teas as the powders that you make tea with that's completely useless for the simple reason that the ingredient is not soluble in water so there's no point making it into a tea no licensed dose because it's never been studied officially for for hair loss so you kind of guessing but in experiments uh, with this drug they use 160 milligrams twice a day as a trial but obviously that doesn't imply that this is the dose you should try for hair loss and uh, this is not for pregnant women so i um, sorry there's a slight misspelling spelling error there you should say pregnant uh, not for pregnant women and finally it does thin the blood so if you're taking blood thinners already then you should not be using this and in any case it does have quite a lot of interaction so you need to speak to your pharmacist or your healthcare provider your physician before you start using this now let's have a look at the zeleic acid. It's used for acne and rosacea. It has a license for these two skin conditions. It doesn't have a license for hair loss. The main brands are Phoenicia and Skinnerin. We'll have a look at those in a minute. Very promising research in terms of hair loss. It has shown ability to regrow hair and you can only get this from specialist clinic. Even though you can buy the azelaic acid for skin, the, the product or the one you can use for hair is not licensed. You have to go to a specialist hair loss clinic or dermatologist clinic to get this. And it gets combined quite often with minoxidil. You know, trials and research have shown that when you combine it with minoxidil, you get really good results in terms of hair growth. And uh, needless to say, this is not something you take orally, never. It's only topical. Topical means you apply it to the skin or to the scalp. It, and um, it has a very good safety record. So it's not like the other tablets we've seen so far in this uh, presentation where you have lots of you know, these kind of crazy side effects. This has an excellent safety record. So let's have a look at the couple of the brands for azelaic acid that are available. Uh, both of them are gel form or cream form. Um, this is a Phoenicia brand uh, and this is 15% gel. Um, very common uh, treatment for acne. The other one is called Skinneren. It's, it's a slightly stronger one, 20% and in cream form. The last one was gel form and this is uh, about 5% uh, stronger than the last one. By the way, if you are looking for hair loss clinics that do these kind of more specialist bespoke medications for hair loss, just leave a comment in the uh, section below with your location, what country you're in, and I'll get back to you. I've also actually made a comprehensive review of Regain. I'll leave the card up here and I'll try and leave a link down in the description below. You can go and watch that. Uh, that's the end of the video. Take care.